favorable, the launching is completed and she is successfully moored. Around the stricken neighborhood of Lynmouth, a police barrier is thrown to prevent casual spectators, however sympathetic, from impeding the work of salvage and rescue. Anxious to assess at first hand the needs of the situation, an official visitor, the Minister of Housing and Local Government, makes a tour of the devastated village. While he walks among the ruins, yet another victim washed up on the shore is brought in on a stretcher. Mr. Macmillan, who is carrying back to the cabinet a report of what he has seen, speaks feelingly of his impressions. Perhaps I might add that the most practical way, apart from what governments can do, is that all our people at home and overseas, and all those who have enjoyed the beauties of the Devonshire coast, should contribute to the fund opened by the Lord Lieutenant of, of the county in conjunction with the Lord Lieutenant of Somersetshire. The work of mercy and succor continues. Higher up the West Lynn River at Barbrook, a house perches dangerously over the stream next to the site from which another dwelling has completely vanished. The family, like so many others, has to be evacuated. Clothes for the homeless pour in from all over the country to Linton Town Hall, the local centre of relief. Supplies of fresh water are brought into the district for the use of a population which, ironically enough, has been overwhelmed by a catastrophe of water. In the devastated area, they set about clearing the old channel of the West Lynn so that it may flow again along the original riverbed. Most of the havoc, it will be remembered, was due to the surge of the flood down the main street after the West Lynn had burst its banks and changed its course. The appeal fund, to which the government has contributed 25,000 pounds on behalf of the nation, has already reached a large figure, for the disaster has struck the sympathetic imagination of all. As for practical help, operations on the spot are in capable hands. To make sure that everything possible is being done, Field Marshal Sir William Slim flies in by helicopter. The people here can rely upon it, that the army will do everything that it possibly can to help them. And that is the thought which inspires everybody. Thank you.